Huhu. Hi folks and welcome to Canna Trends. Today I would like to talk with you about vertical gardening and cannabis cultivation. So stay tuned. Hi folks, please enjoy the beautiful landscape behind me. You can see the Danube River, the TV Tower and the Vienna United Nations. And at this special video today, I would like to talk with you about cannabis vertical cultivation. First, I have heard about vertical gardening or vertical cultivation some years ago when a French architecture was trying to build um, vertical gardens for example for private use in houses or also for hotels or even for skyscrapers where he designed special vertical gardens yeah, to, to give um, to give uh, these skyscrapers a new shape and uh, also to to solve some typical city problems of these days like overheating as we have today 37 degrees outside yeah and also to make uh, the, the the landscape more beautiful um, but vertical gardening or vertical cultivation is also a huge topic in agriculture because human beings we are using a lot of space and uh, the problem is that space is even um, yeah that not all countries or all uh, places on this world have enough space to 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 make the conventional agriculture so the solution in future is to make vertical gardening and what does vertical gardening means uh, finally it is uh, like uh, like a horizontal field uh, which is on uh, on, more, on on several levels for example 5 to 10 levels uh, and that means that every level um, has its own pots where you can grow cannabis uh, or um, herbs or whatever you like to cultivate so at these levels you flip out the pots so they get they get enough light and also uh, water if they need um, yeah and when you put it vertical you save a lot of space and um, you can use the sunlight even better than if you make just horizontal gardening uh, as we know so vertical cultivation is really something new especially for the cannabis uh, branch uh, why um, uh, the cannabis industry is still at the beginning um, but it's really uh, the best way uh, or best example to uh, use new technologies uh, in the cannabis industry for example we are already using led lights uh, aquaponics and why not use vertical gardening in future to yeah to uh, to grow cannabis for example so you need so you have several benefits one of the benefit is for sure you need less space so you can cultivate much more on less space and if you do some kind of indoor growing this is uh, yeah this is a special topic because if you have huge uh, gardens where you plant your your uh, cannabis you can you can uh, plant much more on the same space so you need less space uh, for for much more yeah for much more possibilities of growing the second point is uh, you you need less energy so that means um, that you can with a similar amount of light or lightning uh, and a similar amount of uh, water uh, you can produce much 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 more uh, and the third uh, the, the, the third uh, pro of course is that you have much more uh, yield so you can harvest much more than with conventional horizontal gardening uh, so these are three pros of uh, vertical gardening. What are the cons? Of course, there is one. Um, 
Vertical gardening uh, is still at the beginning, so the technology, and with technology I mean uh, the whole inst infrastructure, so built up these levels, the, the construction of, of these vertical fields is still very expensive because the technology is at the beginning uh, and the price for the, the equipment is very, very high. Uh, but the last pro for this technology is also that you can very well combine it with uh, aquaponics for example. We have talked uh, about aquaponics in my last video so click for this link if you want to hear more about aquaponics and, and cannabis con cultivation. Uh, well, uh, and, um, and you also can combine it very well with LED light. So we have three new technologies which are combined now vertical uh, cultivation, LED lights and aquaponics. So this is really a trend which can uh, be developed in future. Let's come to some data folks. The reason I have made this video is because I have read recently this article in Cannabis tech.com about vertical cultivation so I will also put the link into the description so you can read the article on your own if you like uh, but now let's come to the data I have three uh, interesting data for you uh, we are talking now uh, about uh, comparison horizontal and vertical cultivation on the same square meter so it's the same volume of space we need uh, and now is the comparison so if we have horizontal cultivation uh, we can make a total production of of 27 uh, I, I suppose these are, are grams or maybe kilos and if we use vertical gardening it's almost five times more so we come up to 180 grams or kilograms whatever it is um, per, per watt so if we take the, the light and compare the, the watt we can produce at horizontal gardening 1.36 uh, grams per watt and with vertical gardening 1.67 so it's about 20% more than horizontal gardening yeah and the yield total per grams is 85 and with uh, vertical gardening 500, 567 so that's quite a lot yeah, that's data in uh, very short words. Um, I hope you like this video, so please give this video a like and share it so also other people can be inspired. And if you like to know more about cannabis trends and cannabis technologies, subscribe for my channel. This is the right channel if we talk about cannabis trends. And now it's summertime and the, the Danube is calling and now I think it's time to go and have a cool bath. So stay tuned until the next time. Bye bye.